have a question for you. There's a, a, a lady that I am friends with who's doing some really good things, uh, Kira D'Amato out of Richmond, Virginia. And Kira and her coach right now tend to do a decent amount of running at lower mileage, but higher intensity. And so I think this talks to the specificity or individuality of whether high mileage or higher intensity tends to work with one athlete or the other. Is there something that we can do to try to manage this and potentially decide whether someone would respond better to more mileage versus higher intensity or vice versa? That's a, that's a very good question. And, and I, my, my first concern there would be what, what events is this person training for? Is it fairly short events or long events or what? She's typically been a 5K, 10K, although she's moved up to the half marathon marathon. Yeah, I, I, would, I would stick with the shorter stuff. That doesn't, that doesn't mean to, to do everything anaerobic by any means because there are benefits to just running easily that strengthen the heart muscle, whether you're training for a marathon or an ultra marathon or whether you're training for a 1500. You just strengthen the heart muscle and that's done with easy running. And then you want to do some training for improving aerobic power, which is done with intervals. And you want to improve running economy, which is done with repetition. So there needs to be, I, it's hard to say that there's a bigger benefit for one than the other. I would generally say in general, especially for younger or beginner runners, that they would concentrate a little bit more on the repetition stuff early in their training rather than the, the longer stuff. 